Good morning. Welcome back into Wake Up America. I'm Rob Finnerty. As Americans try to figure out how to feed their babies, four shipments of specialized baby formula have arrived in the U.S. from Europe, but most of that supply has been earmarked for hospital, uh, hospitals rather, and is for babies with allergies. So how long will this crisis last? Joining us now for more is Florida Congresswoman and member of the House Homeland Security Committee, Kat Kamick, back with us. Uh, Congresswoman, great to see you again. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Uh, I'm doing well. You've uh, you've gotten quite a bit of feedback after questioning Alejandro Mayorkas about the uh, the baby formula that's down at the southern border. Um, I, the left has really been all over you about this. So basically, what's what's happening is formula has been stockpiled at the southern border um, for illegal immigrants that might be crossing with babies. Although it's fascinating, right now we're seeing basically almost entirely single. Uh, single men crossing the southern border. It's not like it was a year ago when we saw a lot of families, which is just an element to this. Um, but you say that formula should be surged to store shelves to help out American taxpayers, American moms and dads out there. Uh, how much formula are we talking about at the southern border? Well, obviously, we've been covering this issue for, for about a week and a half, two weeks now. And you're right. The left is extraordinarily angry with me. I've had the White House come after me, CNN, Rolling Stone, Vanity Fair, every liberal outlet you can imagine. And the death threats have really gone through the roof. It's amazing when you expose the failures of, uh, of an administration, what happens. But as you can see from the photos that y'all are showing, I mean, you have pallets of supplies. And that includes baby formula, that includes diapers, wipes, that includes clothing. Uh, and it's not just the supply room that you see us walking through, but there was two additional offsite warehouses that are filled to the brim with formula. You can see the pallets in the background there. And that is something that I think is wildly unacceptable, given the fact that you have parents around the country that are scrambling, trying to find formula for their kids. It really shows you what an America last policy looks like. Now, my intention in going to the border and exposing this wasn't to say that we need to starve children at the border. Absolutely not. Right. It's not an I or. But what, what I am saying is that while they have been stockpiling at the border for months, they clearly have had a plan knowing that they were going to have to have these supplies. Meanwhile, letting all of these American moms and dads and their children suffer even though they knew back in the fall of last year that the supply was going to be short when it came to baby formula. So again, another failure, another crisis of Biden's creation, and they are quick to point blame at anyone but themselves. But it was they, the Biden administration, their own FDA that didn't have a plan. And I, my intention, as I said, in highlighting what was going on at the border was to just show how acutely they have been paying attention to the crisis at the border in stockpiling formula in anticipation for Title 42 to go away, but then they turned a blind eye to what everyday Americans, moms and dads are going through it, here at home. It, it's so awful uh, that, you know, you said Vanity Fair, Rolling Stone, CNN, and the White House have been after you. We're, we're again, we're talking about babies. Um, I've got two that are that are not that far removed from formula, and it was a struggle. We had one, my daughter, we had to go through three different formulas to figure out which was the best formula. That was difficult enough, and there was formula available. Um, I. I how did you get into those warehouses down there? Did the Border Patrol just let you in? Because you're the only person I know that's been allowed in to actually see the supply that is stockpiled along the southern border. Well, and remember, I actually got those photos from a Border Patrol agent who alerted me to them. In fact, I had a handful of Border Patrol agents who are grandparents and fathers themselves. Wow. And they said, you drive five miles down the road to the local Target, you can't get formula yet we're unloading it off of trucks into these warehouses. And they were disgusted by this whole situation. So they alerted me to it. And then when I went down there, I, I gave a heads up because I knew that they were going to try to turn me away. I didn't want them to say that they weren't going to let me in because I hadn't given them a heads up. So I gave headquarters a heads up. I said, I am going. You cannot stop me. And I showed up. And wow. I, I'm sure that they were very uh, not happy about me being there. But they knew that they were caught red handed. So that is why I reported. I wanted to show proof that the photos that had been sent to me by Border Patrol agents were those exact same photos and videos that I was capturing 
that weekend in uh, Donna at the processing facility. Well, I know that there are parents out there watching right now. We've had several on Wake Up America that have joined us, and, and they're just shocked that this is happening in America. And you look at the southern border, and, and look, we're all for immigration if it's done legally. But these are people that are crossing the border. The first thing they do when they set foot on American territory is break the law. We're, we're housing them. We're clothing them. In some cases, we're giving them cell phones. We're feeding their babies. And you know who's paying for all this? We are. The American taxpayer is paying for all this, and we're seeing people come across the border uh, at, at record levels. 234,000 in April alone, that's a record. Um, I, I want to bring this home just quickly. We've got about 15 seconds. Sarah Huckabee Sanders, who's uh, running for governor in Arkansas today, that's where the primary is. She said, this is a quote, things that you didn't think could ever be a problem in America are now commonplace under Joe Biden. What do you make of that? Well, I agree with her wholeheartedly. You can't walk down the sidewalk without tripping over one of Biden's crises, and they're all of his own creation. The border, Americans left in Afghanistan, cry, crime in the streets, baby formula is not on the shelf, inflation through the roof. You have to make a choice between gas or groceries. These are all things that were created by the Biden administration. Under President Trump, we weren't experiencing these issues. So again, I think that voters, regardless of their party, will speak loudly at the polls come November, and it is going to be a red tsunami as we get the House back, we take the Senate back, mm. and ultimately take our country back okay. from this crazy liberal agenda. Florida Congresswoman Kat Kama, keep doing the work you're doing. We appreciate you sending us those photos. Uh, mm -hmm. Shocking to see that, by the way. Thank you. Thank you.